Well, because of all of those clouds, the sun didn't really get to warm us up to those low 90s, but it was still sitting in the mid 80s. We got to 85 here in San Angelo, so it was a pretty, let's say, warm day. Not too warm, not too cold, though. We are going to be getting back to more average temperatures of hitting at 74 and to low 70s coming up because we track that cold front on its way. So we're going to see one or two degrees starting to cool us off as that sun sets, and the cold front is going to take its time to get to us. It's mostly going to be coming in overnight. We will see one or two showers popping up and some storms as well. So Still going to have warm temperatures for the rest of the evening. We'll really see some 50s come back early Saturday morning around 6 o'clock. We're actually seeing 86 towards Big Lake. So cloud cover kept us cool. We actually see some upper 70s as well. And we're going to continue to see a cloudy night for us. 53 for finally when that cold front does push through early on that Saturday morning. Tracking some of those storms are going to be a few with some heavier rainfall, some with some light rain as well. And then we get to... Some very nice spring temperatures, 73 for us tomorrow. Going to break up those clouds that are going to start at the beginning of our day, get some sunshine back for us, and continue to see that trend as we go into next week. Looking at a lot of this, it is a little bit overdone. Most of us are going to be seeing dry. We're seeing one or two areas, seeing some light showers pop up. As they kind of move across the Contro Valley, we're going to see them actually get to strength closer towards the... Um, Dallas area and Austin area out towards the east. They'll see a little bit more storms pushing into their area on their Saturday as that cold front keeps moving eastward. But for us, Saturday, we'll be clearing it out, getting a very nice weekend out there for you. 73. It will be on the windy side, 10 to 15 miles per hour, and of course, gusts at 25 miles per hour. So a little bit stronger through some of the day on your Saturday. Coolest night we're going to be seeing is going to be, of course, Saturday to Sunday, 45 before we see another warm up coming back. We'll be hitting 77 for our eyes for Sunday. And that's when we're starting to sit just in the upper 70s for the next couple of days. Monday, we do have another system that's going to quickly move through, not as slow as this most recent cold front. This one is going to just push through pretty much all day Monday, quickly give us a few showers, maybe the potential for one or two storms to pop up. And it's not really going to give us a blast of cool air behind that. It'll keep us in the upper 70s. Then we start to see that this high pressure moves into our area. We start to see warmer air get back. Plenty of sunshine. We're going to clear it out for just a little bit for Tuesday and Wednesday as well. So those are going to be our quiet days. We'll see some clouds, a little bit of sunshine, low 80s for a lot of us. But as that starts to track south and get closer to our coastline, we are going to see a little bit more increase in some of the uh, moisture and see some showers actually potentially again on Thursday. And then we'll start to see a little bit of a cool down behind that. So. It's going to be nice to get a break from the days of 90s we had last week. We're going to see 73, more spring-like, then a consistent upper 70s to low 80s for the next couple of weeks with breaking that monotony up with a few showers on Monday and on Thursday. As